Hello everyone and welcome back to our excavator series and in today's episode we're going to look at the correct operation of using one of our breakers attached to our mini digger the KX19-4. During this video we're going to go over the correct pressurizing se uh, sequence, how to use a breaker and to how to depressurize the machine as well. To get started we just need to jump ourselves firstly into the machine. To start with we need to enter the machine using three points of contact. Once you're in your seat, we're going to move the key to position one and we're going to drop the left arm armrest. From here what we're going to try and do is make sure there's no pressure in the machine so when we connect it we don't find ourselves any issues. To do so we need to push the auxiliary button which is down on the dashboard and then we need to rock the toggle switch which is on the right pilot control. Once we've rocked that a few times, the machine now is ready to be connected up to the breaker. Simply exit the machine and from here we're going to connect up our hoses to the excavator. Now the hoses should be uh, wrapped up together and they're inserted into these auxiliaries which you'll find on the arm of the machine. Simply lift them up and pop them in on both sides. Now once these are both attached, we can get ourselves back into the excavator and get it running. Jumping back into the machine, now as we're going to use the machine, we need to make sure that we put our seatbelt on. Now we're ready to start the excavator as we normally would. Now the machine is running, let's drop our left arm armrest. Click our auxiliary button to engage the use of the breaker. To operate the breaker once it is in the working position, we use the auxiliary toggle which is on the right hand pilot control. Now at any point you need to exit the excavator for any reason, as soon as you lift up the left arm arm rest, it disengages the auxiliary. So when you return back to the machine to continue breakering, you need to lower your arm rest and once again push the auxiliary button found on the control panel. Once you finish with the attachment, simply lie it down safely on its back on the ground. We're at this point now, maybe you're looking to change attachment and you need to decompressurize the actual breaker itself. So to do so, we need to follow this procedure. We can key off the machine, lift up our arm, left arm armrest, key on again to position one. We'll drop our left arm armrest and again we'll push the auxiliary button. But this time with the machine not in, it actually turned on, we're going to decompressurize it by simply rocking that toggle switch again to release all of the pressure out of the circuits. When rocking the toggle switch, when depressurizing the hoses, you'll see them flex, notifying you that the pressure in the hoses has been released. From here, we can jump out the machine. And from here, we can simply detach the hoses. One common issue we find is when customers try to detach the breaker hoses and have come into problems after depressurizing the machine correctly. This is generally because the safety catches have been turned whilst during operation and cannot be lifted to detach the hose. Ensure that the catches are in this position and can be lifted simply towards the bubble that can be found on the auxiliary hose outline on the machine. It's best practice to wrap the hoses up so when in transport or where if we're putting this attachment away none of the hoses will get snagged or damaged. And there you go guys that is the correct operational and depressurizing and pressurizing procedure for a breaker on one of our mini diggers. 
If you follow these simple steps, you'll have no problems whilst operating this attachment on this machine. Thank you ever so much for joining me today on this tutorial video. Hopefully it's been useful, but if you're having, still having any problems, please feel free to get in contact with your local depot, who will be more than happy to help you walk you through the procedure. Thank you ever so much again, and we look forward to seeing you on the next video. Take care, and bye-bye for now.